so this is the next video in the series about spring cloud open theme so in the earlier video i have showed you what is spring cloud open theme all about and showed you a simple example to get the user uh, from third party and how to call that in this video i am going ahead further and calling the other rest endpoints that are over there that is put post or delete okay so just to review what we have seen so far we have seen what is a spring cloud open theme it is a declarative rest client and theme creates a dynamic implementation of interfaces that they have with the spring annotation right this one and next we see how we can do this enable theme clients what it does how it scans all the classes that are there in the project and theme client that we are putting on the service with the help of which i am calling the third party right and we saw theme client configuration also and see this user line like this right so let's jump into the demo part and see other uh, methods uh, that we can call okay so this is the project that we are using a uh, theme client demo part so get user and user id all that we have done and user controller we are calling it with user id right so let's move ahead and create more methods in your controller to put delete uh, and add the users right so this is it this is the get user list that we have in our school data demo api that this this users part this is going to call this endpoint okay so this is the user endpoint get mapping we are just writing the name of the endpoint that it is going to hit and this is the add user post mapping part which is going to add this user that we are going to pass into the third party into this argument right so let's go ahead and call this from controller this is the code that is needed to call the list of user services and adding the user right so this is the user that you will be passing from the from the browser or any third party that you have okay and it will call this user service and this you this interface this endpoint is going to call the endpoint that this url has this service has and this service is here this is spring data demo okay so ultimately it is not doing anything in this setting but it is calling another third party which is going to do the rest of the things so get post and uh, let's create one more two more, more methods there that is uh, for that is for deleting and updating the user over there okay so if i see here the endpoints for put mapping and delete delete mapping they have so just to show you the simplicity how easy can i do this i am just going to copy it and putting it here okay so delete user and whatever id you will give here it will delete that one this user id right and similarly for the post mapping for the put mapping i'm just going to copy this method only and rest of the things will be done automatically okay so just this is the interface so i do not need to have body so this will call the update address id and new address okay so put mapping this is going to call this endpoint right so endpoint will be same this id and will update the new address okay so public i do not need here because it is interface right? by default in that way it's public so let's go ahead and call this from the controller part okay this user service dot update address what i want to pass id right and new address so it will update the new address for this id that we have right and updating user with id this right so just return whatever response it is given okay so just just that's it we are done right so it is going to update this one and all the stuffs that it is doing we can do that user controller and user service main part to look into is this so this get put post delete put for updating delete for deleting and post for adding the user okay so before starting the application so i have to give the name of the path variables also here right so otherwise it will throw an exception so just let's go ahead and do it and give the name this path variable is there to map the things that are there placeholders are there for new address with this new address and id with this id okay let's go ahead and start the application so application is started so let's go ahead and open it so on which port it is running on port 8080 and the endpoints of the users that we have we know here 
okay so i already have opened the postman which we can use so this is the 8080 port that it has and with user i can get the particular user with some id uh, just for example i can get it so this is the sending request to this so so post it is asking for the post one so post is not allowed here so only get is here so user id is taking the get request yeah sheldon i got it right so i can experiment with the other one so we have next endpoint users which is going to get me all the list of users that are there okay so let's see the endpoint name of the endpoint that we have user controller add user and get mapping we have name user list not users okay so we are calling this one user list okay it has written me all the users that it has okay so this spring theme client demo is ultimately hitting this st string data demo that it has all the users have written me all the users in here okay so other one uh, what we have uh, next i want to update the user that it has okay so what the endpoint for that now let's go ahead and see so for the update put mapping we have update address okay you can name any endpoint anything that you want so suppose i want to name change the user that is with id 33 okay and currently it has address this noida and i want to change it to dali okay this is the new address that it is taking so let's see how it works okay so i have to change the method here to put mapping so that it works properly send it the address updated properly and if i go ahead and get the user that has id 33 i'll get the new address there i get earlier it was noida now it is that next suppose i want to delete the user with 33 okay so just change the method delete and it has the same endpoint user and which id you want to delete if i go to delete user id and 33 it is deleting with the ID user okay send it and user with 33 id deleted properly okay so if i go and try to get this it should throw an exception this is not status 5.0.0 you didn't get user it is not there okay so we are done so last one left is adding the user post mapping how to add the user so let's go ahead and do that so for go for adding we have to post method and endpoint we have user and we have to pass the body i already have written that so address first name gender last name usually we have these four property that we can give and get add the user added so spring data demo just clear the console of this and see the, if this hit is coming or not seen client demo hit clear this also so that we can see in the console which user is getting added okay so this user let's hit post user it is going to add this user so just send it okay in the response i got it right so in the response we are not getting anything but in headers content lab keys body i'll explain you why we are not getting anything but we are getting status 200 okay right see adding user adding user it called two times properly for the same and spring data demo user added right with id id 36 37 because it is not written we got the if you remember the rest line demo that we were using so with the add user it was not returning anything at all right so that is why here also we are not getting endpoint and in spring data demo whatever return type we have mentioned here in post mapping it is a response entity right so it is going to create path and it is going to the same thing add the same thing in header okay if you want to return any meaningful response to the fin line you can add the return type for that and properly any object or something like that okay so the main point is that user got added properly in the in the service by using this fin client okay so if i go ahead and see the list of users that are over there now so get users i see not the users we have endpoint user list 
see i got the lots of these units like with you 36 37 this we just added green learner and this id is different but other details are same okay so this was it about uh, experimenting with all the http methods that you have get put post and delete in the next video what we are i am going to show you the further details about fiend client right so what are those let me show you so fiend configuration i have uh, i'll explain you about the these uh, fiend decorator fiend contract fiend uh, this encoder what are these they are provided by the spring board automatically to me uh, to your application and next we are going to see placeholder or also supported we can write the our user client like this uh, this time we in this application we are just hard coding the details that we have right so if you see the user service we are hard coding is this name and this this so there is no way we can externalize this configuration so we can do this by doing this fee name and this fee URL. we can do the placeholder and put these properties in the property file so that we can change it anytime we want without changing any code work part so it's time to wrap up this session i will see you in the next video till then you play around with the code that we have so just to show you the git repo that uh, where i am pushing the code so this one is here so this is the green learner of the page so if you come down it has this open fin client so it has all the code that you want so this is the link of the video also and all the details readme and fin client demo okay so you can directly get it here download it from here uh, you can right so if you go here and you can download or clone it from here so you get the code play around with this and any experiment you want so I'll see you in the next session with more details about OpenSync client. So take care. Bye bye.